Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I didn't post in a week. I was up to my camp and I didn't have everything I needed to film. So let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at two new releases that I bought from July 5th. And I'm going to be looking at three new Criterion Blu-rays that I bought as well. So let's get started. So first we're going to look at The Edge of Tomorrow on 4K starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. This is based off a Japanese comic book that I really want to read. And it comes with bonus features. I don't know if you can see. It might be a little blurry. And glary. It's about an alien race, undefeatable by an existing military unit, has launched a relentless attack on Earth, and Major William Cage finds himself dropped into a suicide mission, killed within minutes. Cage is thrown into a time loop, forced to live out the same brutal combat over and over, fighting and dying again and again. Training alongside warrior Rita, his skills slowly evolve and each battle moves them one step closer to defeating the enemy in this intense action thriller. I would have loved to listen to the new Dolby Atmos sound mix, but like I said in the previous videos, my Atmos broke. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a little stuffed up. And it also comes with a DTS HD Master Audio. And we're going to look at what's inside. Same cover art. And it just comes with, if you can see, just black 4K disc and Blu-ray. And then we're going to head over to another release that I really want to watch when I have the time. Everything, everywhere, all at once. This is a multiverse movie. It's an indie multiverse movie. It's something like you've ever seen before, I've heard. And Jamie Lee Curtis has been promoting the shit out of this movie because she's in it. And she wants people to know that indies movies can be better than Marvel movies. So watch this. It's about Evelyn Wong, played by Michelle Young, a frustrated immigrant mother, is contacted from a parallel universe and told that she can only save the world. The unlikely hero must learn to channel her newfound powers and fight through the splintering timelines of the multiverse to save her home, her family, and herself in the big-hearted and irrelevant adventure with Stephanie Hoos, Ki Hong Joon, Jenny Slate, Harry Sum Jr., James J Hung, and Jamie Lee Curtis. I was disappointed with this digital copy. It's from Lionsgate because I wasn't able to redeem it on my favorite platform, Apple TV or Amazon, where I watch all of my digital copies up to my camp. Because it's more convenient than me transporting all of these movies and bringing a player. This movie is rated R. And this has Dolby Vision Atmos. It's from Lionsgate. And it's 139 minutes. I like the slipcover. I actually found this at Best Buy. Which is shocking because they're getting rid of their physical releases. So I'm glad I found this one. I actually found this one when I was going out to my camp in Utica because my local Best Buy didn't have it. I actually like what they did with the disc here. It looks really nice. I actually like it better than the Edge of Tomorrow disc. So I can't wait to see what this indie multiverse movie does. I'm just hoping... It's better than Doctor Strange 2 into the multiverse. Sorry, that might be an unpopular opinion. So next, we're going to look at another movie that I bought up near where my camp is. I purchased this one at Barnes & Noble's that way. So we're going to look at this one. This is um, Moonrise Kingdom. <coughs> the Criterion Edition. And I've been waiting to own this because it's the Blu-ray version. And I didn't find it the last time I was at my local Barnes & Nobles. So when I found it at the Utica Barnes & Nobles, I was surprised. So let's look what's inside of it. I really like the casing of this. Because it shows all the different characters. The adults and then the children on the other side. It comes with a lot more things, but I left them up to my camp so I can't show you all of the things. And then it just comes with one disc, the raccoon. 
I do like Wes Anderson. I think Wes Anderson is a really unique director. I like him. And it comes with a lot of bonus features. I'll show you what they are. And since we are talking about Wes Anderson, I will be showing you another Wes Anderson movie that I went out and bought today at my local Barnes & Nobles. I bought the Grand Budapest Hotel. At the opulent Grand Budapest Hotel, the conjurer Mr. Gustave and his young prestige Zero forge a steadfast bond as they are swept up in a scheme involving the theft of a priceless Renaissance painting and the battle for an enormous family fortune. While around them, political upheaval consumes the content, consumes the continent. Virtually designed, the Grand Buddha Puzzle tells a breathless, poignant penny to friendship. Sorry, these are French words that I really don't know how to pronounce, so I tried my best. And this is supervised by Wes Anderson, and there's some bonus features. I'm sorry if I really fucked up these words. Then we're going to be looking at what's in the box. That I do like the way the Grand Budapest Hotel looks in this. Looks really nice. No, let's see what's in it. We got a book with everything about the Grand Budapest Hotel in it. I'm not going to show you the whole book because I want you to buy it and experience it yourself. Then we got the, ro the romantic poetry. We got a booklet of the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, a poster. Oh, this is unique. Then we got, I don't know if I can, you can see it all, but we got this poster, which is really nice. I didn't expect that in there. No wonder these editions are worth $40 because you get a lot of stuff in them. So when they're on sale every six months, I go and buy them for 20 bucks. And then the disc. And then last but not least for the Criterion is Dazed and Confused. American 1976, The Last Day of School, Bongs, Blaze, Bell Bottom Drink, and The Rock and Roll Rules, among the best teen films ever made. Dazed and Confused, directed by Richard Linklater, eavesdrops on a group of seniors to be an incoming freshman, a launching pad for a number of future stars. Linklater's first studio effort also features endlessly quotable dialogue and a blasting stadium ready soundtrack. Step aside, nostalgia. Dazed and Confused is less about the best year of our lives than boredom and gust, and excitement of teenagers waiting for something to happen. It's this 35. 35th anniversary. My friend Kaylee loves this film. So I decided to check it out. I like the cover of this. Now we're going to. I love the disc too. I got to put this in my player. While I eat my breakfast. And then. Comes with another poster. That's awesome. And then it comes with a book about the about the cast. Alrighty, thank you everybody for tuning into my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe.